Hello everyone. So in last class, uh, we have developed the basic understanding of the terms voltage series, voltage shunt, current series and current shunt used to represent different feedback connection types. Here I am going to repeat it just uh, once for you. Here the term voltage actually refers to connecting the output voltage as input to the feedback network. Now out of these four connections, wherever you find voltage in starting, this voltage term in starting, there you'll see that uh, this output voltage is being fed as input to the feedback network. Likewise, current actually refers to tapping off some output current through the feedback network. Now, wherever you find uh, this thing, this current uh, in the name, you'll see that uh, we are tapping this output current, a fraction of output current through the feedback path. The term voltage and current basically refers to the connection at the output side of all the four networks. Now second term you will notice in all the four connection types is series or shunt. If it is a series that means it will be referring to the connections on input side that how your feedback voltage is being connected to the input voltage. In this case both are in series right. Likewise uh, for shunt correction you will notice that the feedback voltage or feedback current is actually in parallel with the feedback uh, sorry input current. Likewise if it is a shunt connection you'll see that the feedback current is being connected in parallel with the input current and that will hold good for both voltage shunt and current shunt feedback networks. Now from our discussion we better know that the term voltage and current they actually represent the connection types on the output side of the networks. Therefore uh, they are definitely related to the output impedance of the networks all the four networks. Likewise the term series or shunt they are actually referring to the connections on the input sides of the networks. Therefore, these terms will be having some connection with the input resistance. So here is the summary of how they are basically going to affect the various resistances on input and output sides. Now as you can see the voltage and current parameters they actually affect the output impedances in the sense that uh, if it is a voltage feedback connection. okay then uh, it will definitely be decreasing the output impedance right now if we are uh, having this type of this current feedback connection type then it will contribute to increase in the output impedance whereas uh, for series feedback connections series feed feedback connections it will be increasing the input resistance and for uh, shunt feedback connections it will contribute to the decrease in input resistance now suppose we have to develop the understanding of uh, input and output impedances of these networks we we'll simply have to know the uh, the type of feedback connections they are having now from our discussion we know that if it is a current series feedback type then there are two terms current and series now for current series feedback current feedback uh, the output impedance is basically increased then uh, it will simply be having an high output impedance likewise it is having a series feedback connection as well so its input impedance will be high as well right so both the impedances will be high in this case likewise we can determine for all the other networks but mathematically we'll see by what value they are basically increasing or decreasing therefore in upcoming videos we'll see how the output impedance input impedance and the gain of all these networks basically varies uh, when there is a feedback path present till then thank you and have a nice day.